Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will be discussing about continuity equation of flow or continuity equation in fluid mechanics. So you might have observed that if we um, you are giving water to the plants in the garden and you press this pipe, then the flow rate or the velocity of the flow increases. How does it increases? We will discuss in this video. So suppose uh, first we will discuss what is the theorem or equi statement of continuity equation. It says that if the flow is taking place in a conduit and the there is no inflow or outflow. There is no inflow or outflow then the rate of flow of mass will remain constant rate of flow of mass will remain constant that is what is rate of flow of mass that is mass flowing per unit time rate of flow of mass is represented by m dot it is equal to the mass flow per unit time so this basically continuity equation is based on the conservation of mass principle conservation of mass principle of conservation of mass now it says that suppose we are having a pipe in which the diameter is changing suppose this is section 2 and this is section 1 flow is taking from place from this direction to this direction then we will have mass flow rate at this section m1 dot and at this section m2 dot so according to this equation continuity equation m1 dot should be equal to m2 dot if there is no inflow or outflow taking place from this section so what is basically m1 dot that is mass flow rate is mass per unit time and you know that mass is rho into density into volume because density is mass upon volume so cross multiplying we get mass is equal to density into volume so mass so we can say density into volume is your mass so we can replace this here in this equation so we can say m dot will be equal to rho into v where v is capital v is volume upon time so volume is basically cross sectional area and length so if this is the flow length l from here to here then this will be volume will be equal to area into the length traversed in time t so it will be rho into area into length upon t so we can say m dot will be equal to rho into a and this is velocity small v so m dot will be equal to rho a v from this equation m1 dot is equal to m2 dot we can say that rho 1 a1 v1 should be equal to rho 2 a2 and v2 where rho 1 is the density at section 1 rho 2 is the density at section 2 a1 is the area at section 1 a2 is the area at section 2 and v1 is the velocity at section 1 
एंड v2 टू इज दस विलोसिटी एट सेक्शन टू सो दिस इक्वेशन इज द जनरलाइज फॉर्म ऑफ कंटिन्यूटी इक्वेशन एप्लीकेबल फॉर बोथ कंप्रेसिबल एंड इनकम्प्रेसिबल फ्लूड बट इफ वी एज्यूम दैट द फ्लूड इज इनकम्प्रेसिबल that is its density is constant and it does not change there are no changes in the density then this row 1 will be equal to the row 2 so we can write row 1 is equal to row 2 is equal to row so this equation will become row a1 v1 is equal to row a2 v2 this will cancel out and we will get the equation a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 this is the uh, continuity equation we generally use because we assume that the fluid is incompressible so that is the equation a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 and these two products a1 v1 and a2 v2 will remain constant a1 v1 will be equal to a2 v2 is equal to constant that is if the one of these quantity suppose a1 decreases then v1 will increase and to maintain this constant number similarly if a2 decreases then v2 will increase so suppose that here a1 is larger so the velocity here at this section v1 will be smaller and at section 2 a2 is smaller so v2 will be larger this can also be explained like this that we have v1 upon v2 from this equation if we bring v2 below so it will be equal to a2 upon a1 so that is velocity is inversely proportional to the area so when area will increase velocity will decrease and when area will decrease velocity will increase if it is a circular pipe we can say the area at a1 will be pi by 4 d1 square into v1 velocity v1 and uh, at section a2 it will be pi by 4 into d2 square into v2 so v1 upon v2 will be d2 square by d1 square so here we can say velocity is inversely proportional to the diameter if we increase the diameter just like we have larger diameter here so the velocity will be less here and Uh, when the diameter is smaller at section 2 the velocity will increase so in this way we can say this is the continuity equation based on conservation of mass there will be no loss in the mass whatever the mass is entering here whatever the flow rate is here whatever the discharge is here flow rate is basically the discharge discharge uh, at section 1 q1 will be equal to the q2 and that will be equal to a1 v1 a1 v1 or a2 v2 this is the basic concept of continuity equation and how we can find the actual velocity v1 and v2 that has been discussed in the lecture related to the renold number thank you for watching our video please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for notification of next videos